Welcome to part three of Supply and Demand with Mr. Bolden. This time we're going to be finding equilibrium. All right, we're going to be adding supply and demand together, and we're going to find a market price. This is known as the price system. Uh, and then we're going to look at how changes in supply or changes in demand will affect this equilibrium price and quantity. Okay, so if we take a demand curve, that's the red line there, um, for a market, and we add the blue line, which is the supply curve, for the same market at the same time, they will intersect. This intersection is known as equilibrium. All right, at that point, we have a agreed upon quantity and agreed upon price by both consumers and producers. And this is where the market is at uh, a utopia state. All right, we have everything is good. Now, like we talked about um, in both graphs uh, in the previous videos, you have things that can change supply and things that can change demand without changing the price. Remember, tripe and nice G, All right? Those things will then affect equilibrium price and quantity. All right, let's look at a change in demand first. So if there's an increase in demand, you shift the curve to the right, All right? So we're gonna shift our demand curve to the right here. Boom, look at that. Now consumers are willing to buy more dinosaurs at each and every price. Not What does that do to the equilibrium price? The agreed upon price, well, Looking at the graph, now not only are we willing to buy more for whatever reason, that uh, those reasons we were in the previous video, all right, whether it be a change in income uh, or a change in population, now the price has gone up at each and every market. And because that price has gone up, producers are willing to make more at each and every price. Now, what if uh, bad things happen? Well, you shift the demand curve to the left, and now you had a decrease in price and quantity. All right, so the lines can move, and that changes equilibrium price and quantity. All right, so anything that affects demand will also then therefore affect equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Demand is not the only thing that can change. Supply can change. All right, we've you've covered that in a previous video as well. So if supply increases. Businesses can make more at each and every price level. They will shift the supply curve to the right. All right. Now that changes the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. The equilibrium price goes down and the equilibrium quantity increases. All right. Now if something happens and producers are willing to produce less at each and every price level, you just shift the supply curve to the left, and now you had an increase in price and a decrease in quantity. Now, this is an introductory economics class, so do not worry about shifting both supply and demand at the same time. Right? We're going to find equilibrium. We're going to see where it is. We'll look at a scenario, and then we'll see how that scenario changes demand or supply, not both at the same time. Okay? And when supply or demand changes, that'll change the equilibrium price and quantity, depending on how you shift uh, and what you shift. All right? So just read the graph. All right? If you need to uh, a refresher, hit rewind on the video and rewatch the shifting of the curves again.